Hi, I'm Andrew Watson. Thanks for joining me for my weekly guitar blog. It's December 8th, 2013, and this week we're going to cover the use of Dorian Sharp 4 scale. And this question was sent in from Victor. He's in San Jose, California, and he wrote in with this email. Over the last five years, I've bought several jazz guitar books in an effort to take my soloing to the next level. Most have fallen way short. They mainly show how chords and scales are created. The jazz scale I'm most interested in learning is the fourth mode of harmonic minor, Dorian sharp four. Could you explain this scale and maybe even show a couple of licks as well? Thanks from Victor in San Jose, California. Well, hey, thanks for writing in, Victor. The Dorian sharp four scale is a mode of the harmonic minor scale, and it's built from the harmonic minor's fourth scale degree. Now, Dorian sharp four scale has a very interesting sound, and it offers us a lot of really cool scale ideas around minor harmonies where most guitarists wouldn't ever really think to place them in. So let's not waste any time, and we'll just head straight to the guitar neck here to discover the very unique scale sounds of the Dorian sharp four. Well, I'd like to begin by establishing a chord that we can use as our uh, focal harmony for helping our ear recognize the unique color of this scale. So for our examples, uh, we'll be focused specifically on the uh, A Dorian sharp fourth scale, which is a minor scale, but it has a raised fourth. So um, our chord is going to be an A minor seven sharp 11. So here's one example of how this chord can be played on the neck. We're gonna come from the sharp 11 there on the fifth string, then we'll have our uh, A note, so we'll have D sharp, and then we'll have an A, and then we'll have our minor third. The A is the root, of course, the C is minor third, and then on top we're going to have our minor seven, the G. So the notes are D sharp, A, C natural, G natural. Now, of course, there's many other ways to create this chord, so be sure to learn a few other, you know, chord voicings and shapes on the neck as well. And also try experimenting with the minor 9 and minor 13 sharp 11s too. All right, let's uh, go to work on establishing some scale layouts. We'll stick close to the position that we're already in, which is the fifth position, and our first scale layout will operate on the uh, lower portions of the string sets. So here's the A Dorian sharp 4 scale from the sixth guitar string, and we're going to go to the octave of A on the fourth guitar string. So here's the layout. Out. Here it is one more time. Okay, now let's uh, continue into the next octave register by performing this scale from the fourth guitar strings, uh, A, up to the first guitar string. So here's how this uh, next range is going to sit on the neck. So as you can tell, the Dorian sharp four has a really unique sound, and it's mostly due to the scales interval structure and where we find the scales uh, degrees that are gonna get organized like this. We'll have our tonic, our A note, up to the major second, which is a B in this case, then the minor third, which is of course the C natural. Then we're gonna move up to our augmented fourth, which is a D sharp, and then we'll have our perfect fifth, which is E, major six, which is the F sharp, and the real core note of Dorian scale. And then we'll have our flat seven, the minor seventh tone of G. And uh, that builds the entire structure. So it's root, second degree, minor third, raised fourth, perfect fifth, major sixth, and the minor seventh. It's a very cool sound. And it's a great structure, you know, one that can offer us some pretty cool sounds for performing instrumental melodies as well as, of course, uh, you know, interesting improvised solos too. Now, uh, let's uh, move to the uh, world of, you know, just having some fun with this scale and plan out a few runs targeting some specific resolution tones. In the first lick, I'll start on the scale's tonic note and resolve on the scale's major second degree. So uh, here's our first uh, Dorian sharp four guitar lick. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's a very interesting sound. Uh, next up, I have created a scale run where the sharp four interval is really going to grab the spotlight in this one. I'm starting things off by sticking close to home on a collection of notes from the Dorian mode, but then the sharp four comes in and it's behaving a lot more like the uh, the blues bass sound of uh, sharp or sorry, a flat five. So it's going to act as if we're performing our actual blues scale a little bit here. And, uh, you know, it's actual uh, flat five, uh, classic flat five color tone there. Uh, but in uh, wrapping up, I'll uh, bring in the ninth and the minor third, finally ending upon the surprise sound at the uh, end of the lick of our D sharp, our sharp four note. So uh, here's how this lick all comes together here. Here it is again. All right, I have one more idea here that I want to go over, and this time I'm going to start out on a couple of uh, double stops using the chord tones at first, and then follow those up with extensions. So the line pushes pretty heavily here on uh, sharp four and minor third intervals, uh, moving into a triplet uh, from the major six, pushing into a minor third. Uh, once more, we're going to you know sort of focus on resolving on that ex exotic sounding sharp four interval, that uh, D sharp uh, tone. So I'm just going to start off with some double stops, and then uh, we're going to have some nice... Uh, Changes in rhythm here too with some triplets and sixteenth notes. So here's the whole idea. It goes like this. Here it is one more time. Good way to begin practicing the Dorian sharp four is through the application of a static chord harmony related directly to the character of the scale. Now for Dorian sharp four that happens to be the minor seven sharp eleven just create a static chord vamp and under the vamp make up a composed melodic line at first. Then as you begin getting more and more melodic ideas with the scale record another vamp but on the second one remove the sharp eleven from the minor chord and work at just pushing the sound of that alteration with the scale alone. Over time, what you'll uh, find happen is uh, you just find yourself using the exotic sounds of that Dorian sharp four mode in all kinds of other minor situations, even over harmonies that don't precisely call out for the scale. Anyway, that's about all the time I have for now. As always, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great week, and I'll catch up with you next time. Bye for now.